All right, I just felt like building something today, so I built this little circuit. Uh, I thought it would be uh, a good one to play with and uh, get you guys uh, interested more in op amps. So let's take a look at the circuit here. This is what, what I designed. Um, so uh, it is a voltage regulator, okay? Should be good for about five amps. Um, and so how does it work? So the basics of it is this transistor. Here's 12 volts and here's the output. So this transistor will act as a variable uh, resistor, basically. Um, it will let through only a certain amount of voltage uh, through, through here. So it's like a valve, right? So you turn the valve on and water comes through, you turn it off. So it's, it works with a voltage. 12 volts here, we can say we want to regulate this, re regulate this to 5 volts, okay? And so uh, we need to have this 5 volts and, and this will drop the rest of the voltage, right? It'll, it'll, it'll negate the rest of that voltage. All right, so how do we do that? Well, we'll put a, uh, a base resistor on uh, the transistor so we don't blow it up. So any current through here will be limited by 100 ohms, all right? All right, so we're going to drive this uh, voltage here, and it will be a, an emitter follower, right? So whatever voltage we put here, we'll, there'll be a diode drop, and then that voltage will be here. So if we want 5 volts here, we need to have about 5.7 volts here, okay? And we're going to generate that 5.7 volts with this, um, with this op amp, all right? So, so how, do we get, how do we get the right voltage here, and how do we make it stable, all right? So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to feed back with the output. Okay, so we want the output to be 5 volts. And so we're going to divide it down to some, some other voltage. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll find out what that voltage needs to be in order to make this 5 volts. But if we have 5 volts here, we'll have less than 5 volts here, right? So if it's halfway, 5 volts, we'll have 2.5 volts here, right? And we bring that around, and we're going to compare that, right? We're going to compare it to whatever is here, and the op amp will do what it needs to do to make these two the same, okay? So if, uh, if this were 2.5, it would make this 2.5, which means it would, would turn this on until this got up to 5 volts. So when this is 5 volts, this is 2.5, comes around, it sees 2.5 and 2.5, and, and, and it's happy, right? So we need to generate 2.5 volts. Well, I don't have 2.5 volts, but I do have... 3.2 volts, okay? So I have a Zener diode that's 3.2 volts, and I'll put that with a 10K resistor, and I'll generate 3.2 volts. So now what we have to do is we have to make sure that what we get here is 3.2 volts. So we're going to have 5 volts here, 3.2 volts here. That's, these 3.2s will be the same, and then the circuit will be happy. All right? And just in case you want to build one, one of these at home or you want to know what, what parts I'm using, I'm using a TL072 as the op amp. It's not critical. And I'm using an MJE200, which is a 25 volt, 5 amp uh, transistor. Uh, I measured the uh, HFE on this uh, transistor to be around 87. It doesn't really matter so much, but it um, uh, tells you how much uh, current you have to put through that, uh, that 100 ohm resistor there. All right. And then I'm going to load the circuit down with a 50 ohm resistor, so we'll have some, some good amount of current coming through here. So at 5 volts, uh, we'll have 100 milliamps, okay? So we'll generate uh, 100 milliamps over here. All right, so let's take a look at the, uh, take a look at the circuit over here. Uh, here's our op amp. Let me point with something different. Uh, here's our op amp. Here's our Zener diode right here. Uh, here's our adjustment. This is our load resistor, our 50 ohms, and this is um, the transistor right here, and our 100 ohm resistor, right? So there it is all put together. And uh, we will come over here and we will turn on the power supply. Okay, and you can see that we're running plus or minus 12 volts, and the 12 volt side, the plus 12 volt side is giving us 110 milliamps. So it's about 100 milliamps bigger than the negative side. So it sounds like the uh, sounds like the circuit is working. Okay. So I'm monitoring the voltage on the uh, uh, on the load resistor, that 50 ohm resistor, and I'm getting 
I'm getting 5 volts. All right? And uh, if I go over with a screwdriver and uh, change that potentiometer, let's say I want it 5.5 uh, volts, that's the wrong direction. I'll turn it the other direction. And I can adjust it to anything I want to. So there's, I can adjust it to 5.5 volts. All right? So this uh, circuit regulates to about, I can go up right about to six, stops working to about 6.8 volts. And it'll go down probably pretty far. Uh, yeah, 3.3 volts. So that's the range that this, that this will regulate over. We'll put it back to 5 volts. All right. Well, there we go. So, uh, fun little circuit. Of course, you'd probably use a three-terminal regulator these days, but uh, this gives you an idea of what's inside a three-terminal regulator. It's it's something similar to this. If you're mil if you're familiar with a um, an LM uh, three seventeen, uh, it has an input, an output, and an adjust. And the adjust wants to be about one point seven eight volts, I think. Well, that's that's because of this. It, it has like a 1.78 zener, so it's comparing things to 1.78, so you need to make sure that adjustment pin is at 1.78, and then, and then the thing will work, right? So there you go.